Volvo of Richmond presents this 2012 Audi TT 2.0 Turbo Quattro. As you can see, this one is finished off in a Daytona Gray Pearl exterior. Your tinted windows along the side. And as you can see along the back, this one is riding on Michelin Pilot Sport tires. They are 245, 40, ZR18s. So your 18-inch alloy wheels with rear disc brakes. Along the back, you can see your dual exhaust. And right here, you do have your Quattro all-wheel drive, as well as TT badge. And overall, it's just such a fun little car. I've always been a fan of these. Right here, you do have your real metal gas cap lid, body-colored mirrors and door handles. And up front, you do have your projector HID headlights with your fog lights down below and chrome accented grille. So let's go ahead, step inside, start the vehicle up. The key has a very, very nice solid feel to it, I might add. And inside, this one does feature the premium jet black leather and Alcantara interior. As you can see, you do have your leather on the sides and then your Alcantara in the middle. This one also does come equipped with the factory accessory uh, all-weather floor mats. So let's go ahead and start it up. All I have to do to start the vehicle, insert the key. Very nice. Go ahead and close the door. Inside of this TT, as you can see, the windows will automatically lower a little bit. And when you close the door, they will raise back up just to form a seal. Inside of this TT, you have a very nice leather wrap, flat bottom steering wheel with very nice and precise power steering. Back here, you do have your paddle shifters behind the wheel for your six speed dual clutch automatic transmission with sport mode and manual shift mode. Along the door, everything is very, very nice, soft touch material. You have your Alcantara back here, as well as both of your front automatic windows, power mirrors, and power lock controls. This vehicle also is equipped with heated mirrors. Go ahead and turn the headlights on, pull once for fog lights. Over here, you have your gauge dimmer as well. And along the dashboard, everything is very nice, soft touch, high quality material. It all fits together very well. In the middle, you can see both of your gauges, your center display, and your um, temperature and engine uh, gas gauge right there. Along the middle, this one is equipped with the Audi Concert audio system, which is great sounding. You do have AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, and um, all of that right there. It also does have auxiliary in. Down here, you do have your single zone climate controls, all controlled by down here. And they're very nice, substantial feeling, uh, very nice quality knobs. Over here, you have your different zones. And one thing I like as well, with the vents, if you want to close them, just turn the little chrome piece around the edge. And that's how you open and close them. But down here, you do have some more brushed aluminum trim. Up here, you do have an ashtray and cigarette lighter. And this one is, of course, a non-smoker. You have heated seats for the driver and passenger as well. Traction control on and off, your hazards. Right here are the controls for your rear wing, which you can manually raise and lower. Back here, you do have two cup holders, 12 volt outlet, and in the middle, your armrest with your very nice little leather padded armrest on it. Just a very nice touch. Up here, you do have an auto dimming review mirror, your garage link, um, your interior lighting controls for the doors. Soles right here. And everything in here is just so substantial feeling, all of the buttons. As you can see, the seats are very, very nicely bolstered. And you do have the very nice accenting in the middle. Overall, this is actually a pretty comfortable car. I mean, I'm 6'2", and I sit in it perfectly fine. I just move the seat back a little bit and move the wheel out towards me. And it's pretty comfortable, honestly. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down. Unlock all the doors. Release the hood right here. And over here, release the trunk and fuel cap. Now, coming along to the trunk of the TT, just go ahead and lift right here. And as you can see, you have an excellent amount of room. You also do have your cargo cover, which is built in up here, as well as right here, and they meet together and do cover everything up. This one does come with the dealer accessory cargo net, and both of your back seats do fold. As you can see, your battery back here as well, and it all is lighted. 
do have your LED plate lights also built in up here. You can see your gas cap on this side. Very nice. And coming over to the passenger side, this vehicle is equipped with a rear seat. Go ahead and move it forward. And as you can see, I mean, that's where I would sit on the driver's side. So it's definitely not a car that you will buy to haul people, but you can fit four people in here in a pinch. And overall, it's actually a pretty nice seat. It's very comfortable once you're back here. And you do have your releases where you can fold it flat. So if you don't plan on keeping people in here, you can just have a larger trunk and um, just leave them folded down. Also do have your storage compartments on the side. Go ahead and move this back. It is a full power passenger seat and you do have the all weather floor mats on this side as well. Inside of here, you have your original window sticker right here. And as you can see, your Audi owner's manual and all of that from the factory. Coming up front, you can see your projector headlights with your LED accenting below. And up underneath the hood of this vehicle, you have Audi's 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder, running excellent. Go ahead, close that. Be one last shot of the exterior. And we'll step back inside. Go ahead and give it a rev. It's a very nice sounding engine. Go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window back up. And right here, go ahead and cut the vehicle off. Go ahead, remove the key, and put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.